Hey everybody, it's GameBlaster64. This is another episode of Minecraft Hellblade, featuring Hellblade mobs, which is my Minecraft server. Uh, a few months ago, we had a huge amount of new players coming on. They had a ton of questions, and you know, any kind of server that sort that starts to get popular has the same sort of issues where, you know, how do you deal with new players? What kind of permissions do you give them? Yada yada yada. So, Sir Jace, my girlfriend, and I kind of came up with this idea of having a Indiana Jones style challenge obstacle course thing where at the very end you have to build on a lot and if your build is good then we'll copy it to our main city which is New Spawn City and, uh, and make you a builder so I just spawned here and I'm gonna walk you guys through uh, the challenges that new players face so if you're a new player and you're getting stuck on some of it then there'll be some spoilers and some help for you here so you spawn here, which is inside of, well, it's sort of like a cave, I guess. Um, some instructions, uh, you know, follow the sign. Uh, new spawn, sorry, uh, builders that come here, because it's, it's located at slash spawn, they can just type in slash warp new spawn city. Okay, so the very first thing you notice when you come in here, besides the gigantic room and all sorts of waterfalls and things, um, is that your journey begins here, but when you go through this door, here you encounter all sorts of mobs so you can either try I don't know fighting them with whatever you've got on you or what you can do is if you go behind the, uh, the you know collection of signs here you can actually get a wood sword by right clicking and some leather pants so you get a little bit of um, I guess weaponry and armor so that you can try to survive this next thing. What I find that works even better, honestly, than fighting them is just running right past them. I've got God Mode on because, you know, I'm doing a video, but normally I, I just run right past. I don't know how there's snow. Maybe some, maybe one of the mods spawned like one of those snow golems or whatever. So anyways, once you run past those guys or kill them and get through, you've got to do this sort of jumping game which is a little bit like Indiana Jones where he has to spell the name Jehovah I think that was in yeah Last Crusade okay so if you complete that challenge um, you go on to the next one here you read you know how things came to be on Hellblade Mobs we created in December 2010 god it's already been more than a year um, yeah who's admin who's not a few rules they're the same rules as every server has you know don't harass people yeah, yeah, yeah. so you come out there's a um, is that a zombie stuck way up there yeah um, there's like this ravine underground ravine avoid the lava come around and you've got here parkour right jump from block to block so your goal is to kind of follow the torches and there's a number of ways you can go up I'll just show you the the default standard way this takes some dexterity and hand-eye coordination. So once you get to here, you go up the waterfall, which feels like it takes forever, but it's not that bad. So you go up. Again, follow the torches. So it gets a little trickier. And then it seems like you can't really do anything here, but you've got to sort of jump. You do get hurt a little. Obviously, I have God Mode on, but... Um, it's not too bad. And then you jump and use the ladder. And then you use this gigantic waterfall. Now one of the things you have to remember is you're going to be suffocating by the time you reach up here. So if you just kind of edge over and put your head out like that, you can actually get fresh air so you don't drown. And then there's a sign at the top of the waterfall that says here the key to your exit is Sapley. Okay, so remember that. So again, we've got to follow the torches. This treacherous pathway here. Got some more notes about the server, the different worlds we have, freedom, uh, Minecraftia, Killcraft. And the rules for each of the worlds, too. Uh, and then it says here, stay afloat. Now, a lot of new players get stuck on this one because what they try to do is they try to swim all the way to the other side um, without any kind of breath in between and if you do that you'll die you'll drown we actually engineered it that way so in the middle what we have is a little air pocket here let me just see if I can find it 
there. So what you do is halfway through you go up in this little air pocket. Basically we have these challenges so that you know it forces people to read the signs. Um, it saves us a lot of trouble when you get new players, like hundreds of new players, and they're like, oh, why can't I build, or how do I get to this, how do I make god mode, can I be up, you know, yada yada yada. So this kind of forces them to read about the server, and if, honestly, if they're interested about the server enough, they'll actually follow through this. If not, then they'll go play on somebody else's server, which is exactly what we want. We either want the players that actually want to be here um, to play, and the ones that don't, I mean, there's a thousand bajillion servers, so... Anyway, stay afloat. If you follow through here, stay right in the center. And what I usually do when I go through this is just go, like, hold in the space key, and you'll go right through it. Okay, so then we'll go up here. I've noticed sometimes that water is slower in some spots than others. I have no idea what it is. Okay, so you come out here. And then, you know, you can look around and things like that. Only penitent men will pass, which is another reference to Indiana Jones. Now, originally I had this going like this. Uh, let's see here. Where the hell is redstone? There it is. Okay, so that's what I originally had, is this sort of, like, system where you had to jump, but after a while, it'll stop working, and I didn't know how to make it automatically reset, so if you're any good at that, redstone stuff, let me know, throw it in the comments, because I'm totally interested in finding out how, how that works. So you can actually try to jump through this way, um, or you can do, like, the running jump. I failed at that, total fail. What the hell? Oh, I'm hitting the wall. One sec. Or not. Oh my god, this is like the world's largest fail. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> um, so you can come around this way. There's water here if you get on fire. And jump over this way. And then finally, you're, this is near the end. Um, it talks about the forums, which we require all people that play on the server to come play on the forums as well, or come talk on the forums. Um, because it keeps everybody in the loop and it's so much easier to answer questions because people will ask the same questions more than once, right? So they can read about what the responses already are. So sadly is always the answer. This is where it comes in before um, and it comes in again for people that have forgotten that sadly is always the answer. When you try to open this door, it's locked. Don't forget the magic word, obviously. Um, yeah, okay. So... I'll come up here, go here, and it says here, you're on your own now, good luck. That's my little reference to Morrowind, which is my favorite game of all time. Okay, so we're outside for the first time. Uh, and basically says here, to help the minister decide who to promote to builder, we hold a daily building competition here. No square houses. This is really important. A lot of noobs get really upset when we delete their square houses, but there's a sign that says it right here. Um, anyways, we give materials. You right click on the sign, you get a diamond pickaxe, you get wood, I mean, whatever you want. Um, and I mean, there's enough stuff here with wood, you can craft it. Like, you can make a crafting table. Okay, so we've got a couple open lots. And a few, a few players have got a few houses here, we still have to go through them. But this is the starting area to Hellblade Mobs. Um, the server address is in the description of the video, so if you want to come play on Hellblade Mobs, please do. We'd be glad to have you. Thanks, guys.